said she ain't trying to deal with me. Okay, cool, you can sell that seat. I'm just hoping she don't fail. Cause when she do, I don't know what I'ma do. All that, that I heard that y'all was talking, it was comical. Pull up in your city for the evening, what you trying to do? Bring the beat back. I don't really listen to the feedback. Nah, told me that she good. She don't need Jack. Nah, I'm real proud of the steps you took just to get to the place that you at today. I couldn't tell you to you straight. I gotta estimate. I wonder if I ought to go here with the best to say. Now go ahead, get me out of here. I couldn't last today. I got the city talking about me like I passed away. Automatic is a habit. You should know it's automated. I've been getting to it. I ain't noticed y'all was hate. Brand new chick. She don't know that I can pace it. I just wanna know that I can hold a conversation. Oof, I don't know what y'all debating. I've been waiting for you. Now I'm running out of patience. Running up a check, trying to run out. Tell me how to get in the bag. We're going to get in the bag. I'm about to get in the bag. I'm like, I'm a habit. You should know it's automated. I've been getting to it. I ain't noticed y'all was hating. Brand new chicks. You don't know that I can pace it. I just want to know that I can hold a conversation. Oof. I don't know what y'all debating. I've been waiting for you. Now I'm running out of patience. Running up a check. Trying to run an operation. Went broke in the check and put a hundred out of savings in. I can tell now that you ain't talking about nothing. I'm going to need something I can calm down from. I'm going to pull it with the ball down one. Six months in. I ain't once. Trying to tell me what you know about me. You don't know nothing. Keep She ain't trying to deal with me. Okay, cool, you can sell that seat. Being located in the music city, this building has hosted a lot of great music acts since its inception. But this is what she was made for, NFL football, and that's what we have today in Nashville at Nissan Stadium. The whole of downtown Nashville likely still reverberating with the sounds of the Titans taking the field a moment ago. They're ready for football as their Titans are set to match up with the Cleveland Browns. Takes this about five yards deep. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. On first down, Tannehill. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Andrew Sandejo. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. Well, it's no secret he's had trouble this year with interceptions, and this is a bad start for him. First drive, throwing another pick. No matter who's broadcasting his game, that's how the conversation begins. Throwing too many interceptions. Can he take care of the football? If I were his backup, I'd be edging towards the coaches and saying, hey, how about giving me an opportunity? Two yards, the loss, second and 12. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. First carry now for Kareem Hunt. Four yards on the pick up there, and now they're left with a third and eight. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL, so when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20, because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Sometimes I think cornerbacks can benefit from the fact that quarterbacks might just forget about the idea that they might be near the line of scrimmage. How about the anticipation there sneaking in and making a big play in the backfield? A 44-yard attack. And Parkey missed it. That's no good. Off to the right, and this will remain a scoreless game. Always disappointing when you miss a field goal, but when you're playing against a defense this good, you and I both know 
that's a crucial miss because you can't afford to leave any points out there. You've got to take them when you can. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at the 34. On the ground, this is Derrick Henry. in one season and the titans have taken a first quarter lead for the extra point well, earlier in the week when they had their scouting report meeting this was the explosiveness that they talked about trying to contain they were concerned about it all week yet he still did it to them wonder how that's going to carry over the rest of the game gaskowski the extra point and it's now a seven nothing game On the return, Dontrell Hilliard. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. On the return, the Browns take over first and 10. The Browns drive about to get started. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More football. <laughs> We're only in November. But they would be a wild card team, and that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs, so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. Quick throw, and Mayfield completes it. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A gain of 28 yards there, and give him a first down. That's how you draw up the run pass option right there. You get a chunk play out of it. And you know quarterbacks love to throw the RPOs because oftentimes they're in-breaking routes, but receivers love it even more. The ball gets to them quickly, allows them to put some moves on in the secondary. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. A first down throw for Mayfield. And he completes it to Hunt. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Going to the air again with Mayfield. And he's got it. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. They'll try to run with Hunt. And he takes this one in for a Brown score. Kareem Hunt hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Browns are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And it's no good. He misses the extra point, and this remains a 7-6 game. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. 25-yard line. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And it's only November, but the playoffs, we know how it works. They'll be here before you know it. If it ended today, they would be the number one seed. And that's a great spot to be in. But I love the phrase, if it ended today. And I'll guarantee you, that's what they've discussed in their locker room, in their meeting rooms. Yeah, we know where we'd be if it ended today, but we also know it's not ending today. Right. So they've got to continue to play the type of ball that put them in the spot where they're number one in their conference. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Second and two at the 43-yard line. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Two yards, good enough for first. But well, we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. A lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, 
sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. Yeah, and able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Of seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. And three at the Browns 48 yard line. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Running from the gun with Henry. And he's going to take this down close to a first down at the Browns 41. Seven yards there and a first down. Nice carry there by Derrick Henry. Picks up a first down. And when you say workhorse, you're thinking about Derrick Henry. Won the rushing title in 2019 with 1,540 yards on the ground and 16 rushing touchdowns. Went to his first Pro Bowl and carried his team to the AFC Championship game. On first and 10, Tannehill. He'll get this one complete to Davis. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That one good for 12 yards. And it'll give him a fresh set of downs. At the 29-yard line. Ready for the second quarter from Tennessee, and it's the homestanding Titans in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. After one, a one-point game, seven to six. at the 40 with a man with a big new contract miles garrett in there to take him down great job defensively i think he was trying to go through his progressions find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it he was on his back so that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning a great job defensively nowhere to go with the football that led to the sack give him four yards there but still in a big hole third and long some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles and when he can make a play himself as we just saw there that's a big day he's gonna let this go back of the end zone the browns d locked in on third down brings up fourth early on the running game's been working well and the offensive line has been pleased by that the thought process there catch those safeties creeping up trying to help against the running game they tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. Absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air, and that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. Ball carrier. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. At the 10 yard line. Second and five now. Mayfield. And it's intercepted. Picked up by the USC man, Adoree Jackson. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49 yard line. The Titans take over first and ten. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. But what do you think? You get the ball off the turnover near the middle of the field. You take a shot here on the first play? You know I'm big on that. I love when I have great field position. After a turnover, I feel like I might have them a little bit off balance. I prefer to take a shot, but a lot of coaches will tell you you only do it if you trust the guy who's got the football in his hands. Meaning, if it's not there, he won't force it downfield and maybe turn into an interception. He'll go to the check down, go to a second option, and go ahead and take the play that's in front of him. From the 47, it's second and five. Tannehill with a play fake to Henry. He'll throw instead. It's caught on the right side at Smith. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. That one, a first down pickup of eight. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Off play action, Tannehill sliding out of the pocket. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Jonu Smith, the tight end, is intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. 
So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Derek Henry. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Well, they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Back to throw, Tannehill. They set up the screen for Henry. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. First and 10. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play call sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. Escaping the pressure right. And that's incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Back to the ground now, it's Henry. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. It's a gain of six. Makes it third and four. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Now Tannehill. And right side, Henry's got it. No gain at all on the play there, and that'll bring up fourth down. Now they couldn't get anything going there out of the right side in the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown, but that's actually okay. They got three points, able to give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. The, line. the Browns take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Second and six. They'll let it go deep for Beckham. And got his man complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Now that's one they hate. The ball's got to come all the way back. So that's an explosive play, a really explosive play that gets wiped out, and they have to start over after the penalty. Second down, Mayfield. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. I like what they did there because many of the deep throws we see in the course of the game come to the outside, the perimeter of the field. In this case, they used a slot receiver to run deep downfield and tried to connect that way. Unsuccessful in that attempt, but I like what they were doing. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and 10. And it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. 
Give him nine there on the first down completion. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. To throw again on second down. Mayfield, that one is caught by Hunt. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 15 yards on the play, first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Mayfield on first down. To the right side, and he's got Landry complete. Mayfield. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. He's going to take off with it. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. Nice work to get 7 out of that, and it's second down. Second down and 3, ball on the 7. Brings up second and 3. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Mayfield. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. To throw, Mayfield. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. Complete. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. And he's in. Touchdown, Brown. Kareem Hunt as the first half is winding down. And the Browns have taken the lead. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, it, if this is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. On the return, the Titans take over first and 10. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A six-yard pickup brings up second and play goal. action. It's Tannehill. 33-yard line. Uncorks one for Davis. And that is intercepted by the Pro Bowl quarterback Denzel Ward. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. First and ten at their own eleven. Now a first and ten at the eleven. Final play of the half, Mayfield. Now they set up the screen, that's complete. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! The Browns are going to get the second half kickoff, and they've got this lead as well as we are back and underway. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Browns drive about to get started. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers or counters, as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had the ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation 
in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> Show him one thing, hit him with something else. And but he's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. He was brought down. It was Jack Crawford who brought him down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. They go play action. Mayfield. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Complete. 11 yards there, first down. A gain of 11 on the play. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's a toss right side for Hunt. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. From the 27, Mayfield. And he rifles it, complete, caught by Landry. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it, an eyelash, dropped at the one. A good pickup there, 26 yards. Out of the gun, they run it with Hunt. And he takes this one in for a Brown score. Kareem Hunt with his third touchdown of the ball game, number 12 on the season. And the Browns add on to their lead. And he atones for his miss the first time around as this one is up and good to extend their lead. Titans 10. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. Here's Khalif Raymond to return. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. On the return, the Titans take over first and 10. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And their halftime hole now even deeper. They need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown in the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing. And try and get back to where you were to start the half. On second down, here's Henry. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and 10. And he gives this time to the tailback. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. He's a well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. Pass the 20. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. It's a gain of 35. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. 14-yard line. He will score! Touchdown, Titans! Derrick Henry, his 26th touchdown, drawing even with Marshall Falk for the fourth most in a single season. And the Titans are able to make this a close game again. Try for Gaskowski. And he's got it to make this a 21 17 game. Makes the score Browns 21, Titans 17. The lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Browns take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. 
Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. The sack by Harold Landry, the former Boston College Eagle. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the USC man, Adoree Jackson. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage. But instead, he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw right into it for an interception. Out of the gun, Tannehill. Over the middle to Smith. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. Henry's got it, out on the left side. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and it'll make it second down. Eight yards. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. A shotgun handoff to Henry. And he's going to take this down close to a first down at the Browns 31. Seven yards there at a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. 31 yard line. This is Henry. First down and much more for Henry. And all the way down to the 17 yard line. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee and a first down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. From the red zone now, Tannehill. Smith catches left side. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Seven yards. Seven yards, the pick up there. And three. Facing a second and three. Ball on the 10. On the RPO, that's complete right side. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. A few moving pieces on that play, because that was an RPO, was it not? It was, but one important piece that didn't move incorrectly, the offensive line. And he gets in. Touchdown, Tennessee. Derrick Henry with touchdown number 27. That ties Priest Holmes for the third most in a single year. And the Titans are going to retake the lead. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. Makes the score, Titans 24, Browns 21. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Browns take over first and 10. At their own the Browns drive about to get started. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter. And a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. And not too much going there as he'll get it up to the 23-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. and nine. Mayfield on play action. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. It's third down. And nine yards to go. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. 
From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. And this is caught. He hits Landry. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Mayfield on target to Landry for a Browns first down. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. Oh, nearly a disaster there on the check down. But they'll get it back. Incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Now left side on the swing pass. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. And so operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Running with Hunt here out of the shotgun. And he's taken down inside the 30. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. A gain of 15. First down, Brown. A first down throw for Mayfield. He's got Hooper on the short connection. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Hooper. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Second and second five after the five-yard completion on first down. Mayfield gives this one to Hunt. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense. You know what they say? Those guys on the other side, they get paid too. Gets this to Kareem Hunt, his running back. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Eluding the pressure right. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Odell Beckham hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Browns have retaken the lead. Wow, I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but that, you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. 25 yard line. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. Tannehill now to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Henry. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of 13. It's a first down. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Quinton Dunbar on the tackle. They'll run it again with Henry. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts. 
first as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. Tannehill. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Complete to Khalid Raymond. Now Tannehill. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. And incomplete. It's now third down. And this will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. The open man is Smith. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. First now a first and 10 at the 11. And now the timeout call. So five seconds left. And a field goal would send us to overtime. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. For the field goal, a 28-yard attempt. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. Takeover first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. Tie game, and barring something incredible here, we're likely headed to overtime. What I would do is either hand it off inside or more likely I take a knee and let the clock run out. Because if I'm back there trying to throw and a sack happens, the ball comes free, I can lose the game here. If I get to overtime, I can still win it. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. Ready to return, here's Hilliard. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. On the return, the Browns take over first and 10 at their own. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now first and 10 at the 31-yard line. He'll drop to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Third and one, trying to keep this drive and overtime going. A big one coming up. Third down. They'll run again with Hunt. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. He's across midfield. They go with the ground game, pick up the first, now in plus territory. And that changes the whole mentality of the play caller, doesn't it? Once they cross the 50, they feel like they're in the strike zone. All right, You don't have to be in the red zone to take those big shots downfield or go after the end zone. Right now, that might be available to him. And now his first drive in OT continues. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Second and ten. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit, and it forced an incompletion. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. And that will be incomplete. Normally being a big-bodied receiver, plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, 
and pick up yardage, but in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. So a big move here, playing to win in overtime. They're going to go for it on fourth down. From the gun, Mayfield. He finds Beckham complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A gigantic call there in overtime, but it pays off with a first down. Two minutes left in this overtime session, and still all tied. First down, they'll run with Hunt. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Second and two. Oh, he almost had it. Would have been a big interception here in OT. Instead, it'll give him another shot on third down. It's third down and two. Go. They'll try to run for the first down with Hub. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. There's a first and ten at the 14-yard line. That's complete right around the eight. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Second and three. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Now keep in mind, if you're thinking of staying on the ground, this is a top five rush defense. Yeah, but I don't think you shy away totally with the run. At least show them the hint of a run before you decide to throw the football. Mayfield on third and two. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. It's fourth down. All right, here we go. The field goal unit staying on the sideline here at OT. They're going for it on fourth. They'll try and run for Lejanovich, and he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And as a result, it'll be Titan football on the turnover on downs. Here's a quick throw caught by Smith. And they'll get him down up past the 15. And now with six seconds left in overtime, they're going to take a timeout. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Tannehill with a play fake to Henry. He'll throw instead. He's going deep for Brown. He's got a man complete. And all the way down to the 39. Well, how about this? The very, very rare tie that we just witnessed. Hard to believe. You don't see it very often. A bonus period of football, yet both teams go home a little bit unsatisfied. So that's it. No double overtime until the playoffs rolled around, so that means this one ends in a tie. Yeah, that's ultimately unsatisfying for both teams, the fan bases. Heck, for us, we True. came here to see a winner, right? <laughs> we did. Winner and a loser. We didn't get it. We end up with a tie. Everyone walks away. A little bit, little bit cranky on this one. Man. Yeah, M -E -H, a man. Yeah. <laughs> So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we sign off from Nashville.